Hi, welcome to Teacher Time. Today we're going to be drawing a cartoon fish. You can follow along with me. If at any time you need to pause the video because you need more time for a certain direction, that's fine. Or you could even rewatch the video if you wanted to start over or draw another cartoon fish somewhere in the artwork. Remember, this is just practice for us to continue to work on the skills that we already have, but also building some new ones and continue to think about how we can create artwork um, that's complete or whole or finished, which is what unity is all about. So we'll talk about how to create a sense of unity in your artwork today also. So we're going to start first with drawing our cartoon fish. Okay. I'm going to start with the first direction, which is drawing the first eye and then adding the second eye over on this side. Next direction, I'm going to draw a line that curves and also goes to the left side of my space and comes down and does the very top part of where the tail is going to be. My next direction, I'm going to pick up here where I left off, draw another line that curves down near the bottom of my space and curves right back up here almost to where the eyes are. My next direction, drawing the mouth, and if you want to add those eyelashes on the fish, you can do that too. Okay. My next directions are adding the fins and the tail to the top and the bottom. Depending on how much space you have might determine on how big or how small and the sizing of the fins and tail. So yours might end up looking a little bit different than mine, that's okay. Just use the space that you have. The next direction, then we're going to add some detailed lines on the inside of the fins and the tail. Okay. And the final direction is adding some texture to the fish to add fish scales and make it look more like a fish. So I'm going to add some curved lines. Actually, when I add those together, it kind of looks more like a scallop. Or a scalloped line. So you can add some of those on the body of your fish wherever you have room. Again, you might be able to add more than what I have on mine or less depending on how big or how small you chose to draw. Okay, so now that we finished drawing the fish, we're going to talk about how to create a sense of unity. Right now, I just have my fish kind of in that space with nothing around it. Um, unity is all about creating a piece of artwork that looks complete finished, whole, and that everything in the artwork makes sense. So since I have a lot of space left over around my fish, I probably want to add something in that space. Now, it could be that you're using um, color to fill in that space to create a sense of unity, which would be fine and that would make sense. Um, or you could even choose to add a couple of details also if you have room. Um, part of unity is creating, again, like I mentioned, objects that make sense in the space around it. So you wouldn't want to have um, planets or sun or stars around your fish because that wouldn't really make sense or create a sense of unity. So instead, think about things that might be around your fish to create that sense of unity. So for me, I'm going to choose to add just some seaweed or some plants, maybe even add kind of a line down here at the bottom that might be like rocks or sand. Or maybe even some bubbles around the fish just to kind of fill in that space. And then also, like I said, creating a sense of unity could be including color as well. Okay. So again, enjoy drawing the cartoon fish. If at any time you need to rewatch or try again, feel free. Um, enjoy drawing your cartoon fish.